Hey Audacious Church, how are you doing today? My name is Rafaro. I'm part of our Manchester campus team and it's an absolute privilege to be bringing you today's devotion as part of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. For you, your church family, your small group, your community, whoever you've been fasting with, I hope it has really been a blessing. And I hope you're seeing and hearing God more truly than you did at the beginning of our fast. I know it's always been true for me that any time my physical hunger has an opportunity to be suppressed or diminished, my spiritual appetite grows and increases. So I, I really hope that that is true for you. Uh, as part of my role for church, I have the privilege of leading, pastoring and advocating for our young adults, everybody between the ages of 18 and 30, right? What an age gap. Uh, and, and, and I love doing this. And one of the things that we've been believing for this year is for the name of Jesus Christ to be, you know, raised upon high in our university halls, in our workplaces, in hospitals, in different spheres across uh, the, the city. We want to see Jesus' name lift upon high. We want to share the message of the, the good news message, the story of hope, the message of freedom to all who are able to hear. That's, that's, that's what God has put in our hearts. And so the beginning of last year, academic year, when we're like, all right, God, how do we do that? Uh, I felt from God that he wanted me to, he wanted us, sorry, as a team to prophetically sing uh, a song. And that song is, we want to see Jesus lifted high. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard the song, but I encourage you to go away, listen to it. Check it out on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, whatever you listen to your music on. And, and listen, really listen to the lyrics of the song. Really allow them to minister to you. And then as part of our prayer points, they begin to prophetically pray them and speak them over our city. God said, I want you to praise and pray this word into being. That I want, I want my name to be lifted upon high that everybody who would hear it would know that he is the way, the truth, and the life. That's what the word of God says. That's what the lyrics of this song are. And we've just been really believing that God is going to come through. In fact, um, these, these lyrics, these words, they are pulled straight from scripture. Exodus uh, 17, there's, a, there's, an, there's an encounter where, you know, the children of Israel are um, uh, fighting and they're encountering God and one of the word, the names of God that they learn is Jehovah Nisi, which means the God, my banner. And in, in war times around this time, you know, you would carry the banner of the person who you're representing into that area and say, I am claiming this land for the person who I'm fighting for. And I really thought God was saying that as we, the, over the course of this year, have gone onto campuses, have gone into our workplaces, have done different mission opportunities or ventures, we are, we are carrying the name of Jesus like a banner into enemy territory, the places where it can't be preached or people don't know him yet. And we're claiming that land for his people. We're claiming those people, the city for King Jesus. That's, that's what we're really passionate about. And that's what I'm inviting you into praying with us today. And we're believing we're going to reclaim, you know, souls, people, uh, areas of our cities that have previously been, uh, uh, ignorant of the word of God or the darkness of the enemy has reigned over those places. We're bringing the light of God, the truth of God, the freedom of God, the hope that comes from Jesus Christ into these spaces. And so we've been, you know, training, advocating, raising up, uh, equipping our young adults to go out into these spaces to, you know, prophetically singing this song, praying and praising. We want to see Jesus' name lifted high so that, as, as, as it says, that his banner goes before us so does his presence go before us into these places so that when we invite people to a Christmas initiative or an Easter initiative or a conference like Luminous or something like that, people are, oh, they're more readily to receive the gospel. That's what we're working on. We have a missional heart this year and that's what I'd love you to pray for us. So I've got two prayer points and I guess one action that I'd love for you to partner us with. The first one being is the boldness to share their faith. I hope you would pray for our young adults. And if you are a young adult, I'm praying for boldness in your life to share the gospel of God with whoever he's showing you, whether it's, you know, your friends at university, whether it's your colleagues at work, whether it's your parents who don't yet know Christ or siblings or anything like that, for boldness to share in confidence that the person you're speaking to does want to know God. Pastor Glenn always says to us that everybody wants to be a Christian. They just don't know it yet. Uh, and often the our own, you know, I guess, fear or timidity is what is a roadblock to that. So I guess the first thing we're praying for is for boldness to share our faith, boldness to invite friends, family members, all these kind of people to church 
in some way or some capacity. Second thing is the confidence that that uh, doors will be open. You know, going on to universities is very tricky because uh, they don't want to hear any religious initiatives. They don't want to hear about the church. They don't want to hear about the name of Jesus Christ, except for in certain very restrictive ways. But I'm personally believing that we're going to see a day and a time when we can freely proclaim the name of Jesus Christ on all of our university campuses. When we can freely claim and point to Jesus Christ in meetings at work and advocating for a relationship for Jesus Christ in some way. So I, I want to pray for the confidence that doors will open, that hearts would open, that ears would open and will be ready to receive the good news, ready to receive um, the person of Jesus Christ, who we are. You remember, we're raising his name up all across this land. And I guess finally, I just say prophetically pray with us. We've been prophetically singing the lyrics to this song. You know, it talks about strongholds will come tumbling down. Every prayer is a powerful weapon that every ear will know, every man will know that he is the way to heaven. All these kind of things. We are believing for these to become a reality. So I pray today, uh, if not continually, would you uh, get the lyric sheet up for this song. We want to, we want to lift his, Jesus' name high and, and pray them with us. Sing them with us. Begin to prophesy with your mouth what your heart believes. And I, I just want to say thank you in advance because I have seen in my mind's eye what God is going to do over this this term, over this year. And I thank you so much for the faith that you have to partner along with us. So God bless you, church. Have an amazing day. Uh, and I will see you hopefully on a Sunday sometime soon. Have a great day. Bye.